So please do not be alarmed by my face mask. I'm still gorgeous under here. I uh, just have to uh, do this while my daughter is sleeping. It's nap time for the day. And I have, oh shoot, I got 45 minutes until she wakes up again. So I'm just going to roll through this, okay? Shouts out to all the moms who multitask because I know what it is. I have considered doing a few things as a mom that I probably would have never done as a single person. For instance, I uh, seriously thought about going to the store with this mask on. So, if you haven't been on my channel at all, I have been away. Welcome. How are you? Subscribe, thumbs up. I have been away and I have been learning to balance life. This adulting thing, y'all, is hard. And do you remember like when you were younger, you used to just be like, I'm gonna have the house, I'm gonna have the car, the dog, the money. And you get here now, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And you are just like, I just wanna live. Do I need to finance this car? No, I live in an apartment, it's fine. Y'all asking for all my money. <laughs> So anyway, you had all these expectations for when you reached a certain age and you're here now and you're like, did my mom have it together or was I tripping? I must have been tripping or she didn't accurately explain to me what this adulting thing was about. Could be that too. I have just learned in my adult life now, especially with a toddler, that these expectations that you have made up in your head ruin your life. For example, this YouTube channel, I wanted this YouTube channel to be much more than it is currently, but I allowed myself and my expectations to hinder me from growing this channel the way that I wanted to. And I used my transitions and my new life phases as excuses. So I got married and I moved, I started a new job, I started a lot of stuff. And I just became a recluse, I was not, trying to be on nothing, show my face anywhere. I was just like, I am, this is bogging me down. But in reality, I hate change. It sucks, good or bad, you have to now take yourself and your comfort zone and try to readjust. I'm a perfectionist, so when change happens, things are not polished, they are not together, they're most likely not of quality and that irks my shana. So my husband says, he's like, shut up. <laughs> and if you've been adulting along with me, things are never really all together. It's just never going to happen. There's always something changing. There's always something transitioning. And death and change are the two guaranteed things in life. It's just what it is. So I have adopted, or I'm trying to adopt the motto of being where I am, accepting where I am and being okay with it. And as soon as I did that, things just started picking up. The, the sun came out from behind the clouds. I started to feel better about myself. I got more opportunities. I'm co-hosting a podcast now, this YouTube channel. My blog is slowly working its way back. I just embraced it. I just embraced the change. If you have learned to release the expectations that you have and sort of just live in the moment, Take life for what it is, and you have tips for me. Comment below and share, please. Oh, the podcast that I mentioned earlier is called What Up with PJ and Ari. You can find us on iTunes and SoundCloud. I will link it in the description box. If you're driving to work, riding the train, if you're cooking a meal, throw us on. Episode number two will be out this Thursday. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go wash this off my face now. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to thumbs up this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.